10, securing the White House. The White House stands as a symbol of American democracy and is an iconic residence for the president. In its role to ensure the safety of the highest office in the land, the Secret Service has implemented an array of sophisticated security measures, including the use of ballistic or bullet-resistant glass and windows. These specialized panes are engineered to withstand a range of firearms, from handguns to high-powered rifles. And while specific technical details are classified, their effectiveness is evident in their proven ability to provide an essential defensive layer against potential threats. The fortified windows are strategically positioned throughout the White House, creating a formidable barrier in the event of an armed attack. Bomb barriers provide an extra layer of security to thwart potential explosive threats. These barriers are strategically positioned around the perimeter, ensuring that any attempt to breach the complex with explosive devices is met with formidable resistance. The technology employed in these barriers is sophisticated, capable of absorbing and dispersing the impact of blasts, thereby minimizing damage and risk to personnel. And as a last resort, a secure bunker beneath the White House serves as a fortified sanctuary where key personnel can retreat in the face of imminent danger ensuring uninterrupted command and control during critical situations. The bunker is equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems, allowing leaders to remain in contact with the outside world even in times of crisis. Before we dive into more fascinating insights and facts you didn't know about the Secret Service, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more amazing videos from our channel. And don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Leave us a comment down below and tell us some topics you'd like us to cover in the future. Now, let's get back into it. 9. Inception Amidst Tragedy The inception of the United States Secret Service carries historical significance, as it's intricately linked to one of the most tragic moments in American history. On April 14, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln recognizing the need for a specialized agency to combat the rising tide of counterfeiting, brought the Secret Service into being. And it's a sad irony that Lincoln was assassinated later that same day. Established under the designation of the Secret Service Division of the Department of the Treasury, this original agency's initial mandate was to combat the rampant counterfeiting of currency, a perilous threat to the young nation's economy. Charged with tracking down those who sought to undermine the nation's financial stability, the Secret Service began its journey as a guardian of monetary integrity. It wasn't until 36 years later, in a twist of fate, that the Secret Service assumed the monumental responsibility of presidential protection. This transition marked a pivotal juncture in the agency's evolution, from tracking counterfeiters to safeguarding the commander-in-chief. 8. Cutting-edge forensic analysis the Secret Service has access to an impressive array of forensic capabilities, including a state-of-the-art laboratory equipped with a vast ink library containing over 15,000 samples. This collection plays a pivotal role in unmasking forged documents, enabling agents to meticulously discern inconsistencies that expose counterfeit materials. The agency's skilled examiners leverage specialized technology and techniques exclusive to the Secret Service showcasing their dedication to staying at the forefront of forensic analysis. With technology permeating every facet of modern life, the Secret Service's skilled digital forensic analysts excel in investigating electronic evidence and analyzing digital trails to assess potential threats. The agency also has a renowned lie detection program with a team of extensively trained personnel, experts in the art of deception. 7. Driving the Beast Dubbed the Beast by the Secret Service agents charged with driving it, the US presidential Cadillac is an imposing testament to both engineering and security ingenuity. Its reputation as one of the most formidable vehicles globally is well-deserved, armed with features that could earn the approval of Q, the fictional inventor from the James Bond series. One of the most striking elements is the level of weaponry and defense it carries. The Beast is rumored to house an array of Bond-like gadgets, from smoke screens to door handles capable of delivering electric shocks to thwart attackers. It even has the ability to lay down an oil slick, sending pursuing vehicles into disarray. 
The weight of its armor plating, which ranges between 8 and 10 tons, provides protection against potential bomb blasts. And the vehicle's windows, which are 5 inches thick, can resist a 44 magnum bullet. Interestingly, the beast travels in multiples. A motorcade often includes identical decoy vehicles, making it difficult for attackers to pinpoint the president's exact location. This strategy was notably employed during President Joe Biden's inauguration, where an unprecedented seven identical vehicles were part of the procession. Furthermore, the beast comes equipped with a plethora of high-tech communication devices, enabling the president to stay connected and, if necessary, transmit codes for nuclear weapons launches. 6. They're always prepared Secret Service agents are the embodiment of preparedness. Armed with a toolkit that spans from life-saving interventions to subtle communication tactics. Amongst what they carry are eight items that epitomize an agent's readiness. The MDI CPR Microshield takes a prominent spot, a compact lifesaver that can provide CPR in dire situations. This small plastic mouthpiece ensures safety for both the responder and the person in need. They also carry a Surefire E1B backup flashlight that isn't just about illumination. It's a strategic tool for blinding potential threats temporarily. And in addition, they keep a Gerber Multiplier 600 on them, always, that serves as a versatile tool for a myriad scenarios. From extricating someone from a seatbelt after an accident to everyday tasks like cutting threads or tightening screws, its utility is unmatched. These aren't the only tools carried by the Secret Service, though. Altoid Small's peppermint breath mitts may seem mundane but play a crucial role in interpersonal dynamics. Used for both personal interactions and in the sensitive realm of interrogations, fresh breath fosters effective communication. And EO resealable hand sanitizer wipes aren't just about cleanliness, they're a defense against germs in public spaces. Agents often travel extensively, and the use of wipes on planes and in hotel rooms offer a level of protection against unsanitary environments. A Moleskine Classic Notebook is more than a repository of notes. It's a tool for memory and accountability. Used by high-ranking Secret Service officials, it ensures that commitments are honored and discussions are followed up. The Zebra M301 Mechanical Pencil, favored for its erasable nature, reveals a psychological layer to the Secret Service. In an ever-changing world, the act of writing in pencil acknowledges impermanence, so agents always have one of these writing utensils on hand. Last but not least, the Mophie Power Station 6000 MAH Portable Charger is a staple in the digital age, and the Secret Service carries one of these chargers with them wherever they go. It symbolizes professionalism by ensuring devices are powered preventing the inconvenience of a dead phone and the perception of unpreparedness. The toolkit carried by Secret Service agents isn't just a collection of items. It's a reflection of their commitment to readiness, adaptability, and safeguarding the individuals they protect. Before we move on, do you have any other government agencies you'd like us to go into more detail about on this channel? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you're at it, subscribe. Now, on to number 5. 5. The Ultimate Sacrifice The history of the United States Secret Service is marked not only by its successes in protecting leaders, but also by the somber reality of agents who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving in the line of duty. While only one Secret Service member has lost their life while directly protecting a president, the agency has mourned the loss of numerous agents throughout its history. The incident where an agent lost their life while shielding a president occurred on November 1, 1950. President Harry Truman found himself targeted by two Puerto Rican nationalists attempting to assassinate him at Blair House, his temporary residence during the White House renovation. Amid the chaos that erupted when the assailants stormed Blair House, Private Leslie Coffelt of the White House police force valiantly confronted them. And despite being shot three times in the chest and abdomen, Kofeld managed to return fire, striking one of the attackers in the head. His selfless act saved the president's life, but tragically cost him his own. Kofeld remains the lone member of the Secret Service to have fallen while directly shielding a president. Timothy McCarthy's name is also etched into the records of Secret Service history, but he actually lived to tell the tale. 
McCarthy was serving as an agent during the attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan on March 30, 1981. McCarthy selflessly placed himself in the line of fire, taking a bullet to protect the president. His actions demonstrated the unwavering dedication and willingness to sacrifice the defined Secret Service agents. Since 1902, a total of 37 agents have died in the line of duty, a testament to the inherent risks of their profession. One of the most devastating incidents occurred on April 19, 1995, when six agents lost their lives in the bombing of the Alfred P. Mara Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Another tragic moment unfolded on March 5, 1983, when three agents tragically perished in a car accident while en route to protect Queen Elizabeth II in Yosemite National Park. The Secret Service's commitment to honoring its fallen agents extends beyond the agency itself. Families and colleagues gather annually at the Secret Service Memorial to pay tribute to these heroes. Their names are also remembered at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C., alongside other officers who have died in service to their country. 4. A Word in Your Ear In the world of the Secret Service, the iconic scene of agents conversing by speaking into their wrists is no mere cinematic invention. Far from the realm of fiction, this practice is grounded in reality. The Clinton archives revealed that the Secret Service has ingeniously devised a distinctive communication system that goes beyond the conventional. The heart of this communication setup lies in a specialized earpiece, intricately linked to a tiny microphone discreetly placed just inside the agent's sleeve. This inventive arrangement allows seamless communication by merely speaking into the microphone positioned near the agent's wrist. Agents can effortlessly maintain a covert line of communication, especially in high-stakes and dynamic situations where every second counts. This approach embodies the agency's focus on adaptability and innovation, encapsulating their dedication to utilizing technology and strategies that transcend the ordinary. 3. Zero Fail Training Secret Service training is a cornerstone of the agency's commitment to excellence, ensuring that its agents and officers are equipped with the skills and knowledge necessary to fulfill their zero-fail mission of protecting the nation's leaders and maintaining security. The rigorous training regimen undertaken by new agents and officers demonstrates the agency's dedication to preparing its personnel for the complex challenges they may face. The training journey begins at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glinko, Georgia, where new agents and officers undergo months of intensive instruction. This foundation encompasses a comprehensive curriculum that spans various aspects of their roles from classroom learning to physical fitness and firearms training. This initial phase serves as a critical stepping stone in shaping the competencies required for successful Secret Service operations. For special agents, the journey continues with an additional 18 weeks of specialized training that delves deeper into the intricacies of their responsibilities. Throughout this period, trainees engage with seasoned professionals who are committed to fostering mission success and personal growth. Collaborating with like-minded individuals during this phase cultivates a sense of camaraderie and shared commitment, enhancing the training experience overall. A key aspect of the Secret Service's training philosophy is continuous improvement. Beyond the initial training phases, all agents and officers engage in ongoing advanced training throughout their careers. This includes regular firearms requalification, refreshing emergency medical skills, and honing other essential proficiencies. This commitment to lifelong learning underscores the agency's commitment to staying at the forefront of evolving security challenges. The Secret Service's training standards aren't just about skill development, they're about empowering individuals to thrive within the agency. The training program supports career growth and diversification, enabling agents and officers to explore new paths while maintaining a healthy work-life balance. This comprehensive approach to training ensures that the Secret Service's personnel aren't only prepared for the demands of their roles, but also have the tools and support needed to excel and adapt in a dynamic and ever-changing security landscape. 2. Safety for Life the commitment of the United States Secret Service to safeguard presidents and their families extends well beyond their time in office, reflecting the agency's unwavering dedication to ensuring their safety for life. 
The evolution of protection measures for former presidents and their families underscores the agency's adaptability in responding to changing security dynamics. The pivotal moment came in 2013 with the enactment of the Former President's Protection Act of 2012. This legislation marked a significant departure from a previous law that had restricted protection for former presidents and their families to a mere 10 years, if they served after 1997. But with the introduction of the new act, an enduring commitment was established. U.S. presidents and their spouses, starting from President George W. Bush onwards, now enjoy lifelong protection. Their children are granted security coverage up to the age of 16, while sitting presidential family members, including spouses and offspring, receive protection regardless of age. This shift wasn't without historical context, though. From 1965 to 1996, former presidents and their families benefited from lifelong Secret Service protection. This encompassed protection for the president, their spouse, and children under 16. However, a statute passed in 1994 introduced a limitation, capping post-presidential protection at 10 years for presidents inaugurated after January 1, 1997. This statute would have resulted in a reduced duration of security coverage for subsequent presidents. The former President's Protection Act of 2012, signed into law by President Barack Obama on January 10, 2013, heralded a return to lifelong Secret Service protection for presidents and their families. This legislation not only reinstated expanded security, but also showcased a bipartisan commitment to ensuring the welfare of the nation's leaders recognizing the lifelong risk they may face. 1. Numbers of agents and what they earn The agency employs approximately 3,200 special agents who form the core of its protective mission. Alongside them are 1,300 uniformed division officers who contribute to the security of various locations and over 2,000 other technical, professional, and administrative support personnel. Special agent trainees undergo extensive classroom, fitness, firearms, and simulation training during their first year of employment. And as they advance in their careers, agents benefit from consistent pay increases. The median annual salary for Secret Service agents is approximately $105,000, and they enjoy a comprehensive benefits package that includes life insurance, retirement plans, personal days, parental leave, affordable health care, and law enforcement availability pay. For those aspiring to join this elite force, the journey begins with meeting specific qualifications. The agency's recruitment process is rigorous, and it necessitates candidates to be U.S. citizens, at least 21 years old at the time of application, and younger than 37 when they receive a conditional offer of employment to proceed further. An essential standard is possessing a valid driver's license and meeting the vision and hearing requirements specified. Prospective agents must be in excellent health and physical condition, and they undergo an applicant physical abilities test to ensure their fitness. Prospective candidates can apply online through the USA Jobs website. The Secret Service's hiring process involves competency and security stages, encompassing written examinations, physical tests, interviews, panel reviews, polygraph tests, health examinations, and background checks. The agency's dedication to upholding the highest standards ensures that those who serve as Secret Service agents are capable committed and unwavering in their commitment to safeguarding the nation's leaders and democratic principles. What do you think is the coolest part of being a Secret Service agent? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!